So in this video, I wanted to take a look at the Zebra V301 stainless steel fountain pen. This is sort of the everyday find it in any store fountain pen from Zebra. It sells for about $5, call it $3.79 on Amazon as an add-on item, maybe like five or $6 with shipping. In a store, should be around $5. And it's part of Zebra's Steel Series, similar to this F301. The uh, F701 is also part of that line, so is the F402, all pens we've looked at a lot on this channel. This is, of course, the fountain pen version. So we see V301 FP. Similar to the other pens in the series, it has a steel body, mostly steel hardware with some plastic. The V uh, sorry, the F701 is the one that has moved away from that into the all steel, but the other ones have maintained a lot of plastic as well. Steel body, sort of this uh, brush stainless steel, steel cap, steel clip, plastic, finial, or whatever you want to call that, plastic grip. It has a hooded nid, nib, <laughs> hooded nib with a lot of plastic. I don't think that's very good looking, at least to my eye, but uh, it is functional. And then more plastic in the back. Opening the pen up, we could see that it uses a Zebra refill. It's called the Z refill, and they call it model 87712. But basically if you Google Z, sorry, V refill, you will find it very easily. The pen comes with two of them. There's a little bit of a fit issue here with mine. Just like it comes cross-threaded and you just have to wiggle it and it will fix itself eventually. See that plastic grip? It's that sort of iconic old school zebra design. It has very 80s feel to me. Uh, it's functional, a little bit small. A little bit short, I guess, is the word I should have used, but it works fine. The pen is nice in that it's a little bit thicker than the other pens in the series, so I find it to be more comfortable to write with. The standard model, the F301, is a fair bit skinnier, and I actually think it's a little bit too skinny for me to use day to day, or just for... Short periods is fine, but for extended periods, I find it to be problematic. You could see that the V301 is a good deal thicker, and I do appreciate that. It does post, and when it's posted, it has a nice balance to it. I don't normally write posted, but this is one pen where I would definitely say consider it. It's a little short without it, but definitely functional. Posted, I kind of get a nice balanced feel. From a size comparison, just wanted to put it next to uh, it's a Lamy Safari. You can see it's a good deal smaller than the Lamy Safari. Put it next to a Lamy logo. Here it's actually fairly similar in size and fairly close in aesthetics, both mix a stainless steel, a brushed stainless steel with a black plastic, although the Lamy does it in a, you know, a $30, $35 pen, where Zebra is doing it in a $5 pen. The Lamy definitely feels nicer, but the difference is closer than you might think. Lastly, I wanna put it next to the Platinum Preppy, here it is. Which this is another $5 fountain pen. For what it's worth, I find the Preppy to be more comfortable and to be a better writer. Uh, spoiler warning, I guess. But I know not everyone loves these Preppies or they might be looking for some variation. And the Zebra is a great alternative, but I do think the Preppy is a better pen overall. I don't love how the Zebra writes. I found it to be a little scratchy 
and just not super pleasant. It always hard starts for me. It takes a little while to get going. So this is the Zebra V301. I will say it keeps up with the pace. That I really appreciate. It just, it always has a little bit of scratchiness to me. No flex to speak of, which is not something I'm looking for from a three or $4 pen, but just, I know people are gonna ask. And it has that very tiny, pointy, narrow nib. It just looks a little bit menacing to me. I don't know, it just makes me uncomfortable. Uh, but it writes fine, V301. Zebra, you could write quick with it, you could take your notes. All of that does what it's supposed to do. It's just not a very pleasant writing experience. It's, it's a functional pen. It does benefit from writing a little bit more slowly the way most cheaper fountain pens do. but it's uh, generally not great, right? And if I was writing on a couple pieces of paper stacked, this would be better. And that's fairly common with drier pens. Anyway. It is a functional writer, but not a great, and probably not even a good one in my opinion. It just, it mostly gets the job done. And for $5, I would probably say that was okay, especially considering that it's a nice looking pen. But considering how good the rollerball version of this is, the uh, I believe it's the R301, and how good something like the Preppy is, I can't recommend the Zebra V301. It's a nice idea. It's just that this pen or pens in this class are better executed in other models. So I would say skip this one. Don't say, oh, it's just $5, whatever, I'll give it a shot. And Zebra says it's this super smooth black ink and this sort of other stuff. I would, I'd ignore that. Get the Preppy, get a Varsity, get something like that. And if you want the Zebra, get the rollerball version or get the this pen right here the G301 which is the gel those are better options for me if you want some, something from zebra i don't think they really pulled off this fountain pen very well and i i think some people have had better experiences with it than i have but i haven't really been impressed so i'd say skip it and uh, look elsewhere. Thanks for watching.